Louisiana Beer Reviews Oktoberfest, locally brewed on Linwood Avenue by the Seventh Tap Brewing Project. 5% alcohol. Introduce. It could have been on the market before this year, but I haven't seen it until this year. Um, September. first 2022 but it didn't show up till like September 28th 2022 over here so nearly a month to get on our shelves distribution issues as you can see it's a Nerkson style Very rocky head, you know, like rumpled, like gnarled leather at the top. It's a um, ivory head. The sun is going to come above that roof line soon, thankfully. And it is a mostly clear i think i'm going to see i see that already without the direct sunlight there's powdery sediment throughout mostly clear deep copper color so it's darker than most meritons i've noticed over the years i got this mug from new orleans track club the new orleans track club oktoberfest run and walk well, i didn't attend that somebody gave me the glass i can't remember who okay it's chilly out here dry one of the 45 days a year where it's low humidity and no clouds dry we need rain here uh hasn't rained in about a month so things are literally drying up there's a burn ban smells like the malt you know the uh, uh martin Martin's, um Martin's, the um We've talked about it in the past. It smells and tastes similar to um, Roman meal bread, which most people can't seem to find anymore. That glutinous dark bread crust. And this one has, like some Meritons, it has like a spicy note to it, like spice bread. Just strange. Is it mint? <laughs> Cheers. Is it a unique Meritzen in the flavor? No, it isn't, and it's lower, lower than average ABV. You know, usually they have around 5.8 to 6. This is only 5. It's a full body, high medium, so it's heavier than you would think for 5. And a pretty crisp finish, mostly dry finish, not totally dry. Sweetness scale, three out of five sugar cubes. Bitterness scale, two and a half out of five hop cones. So it's more bitter than you typically encounter with Meritzen. So, but this is a Shreveport style, Shreveport, Louisiana style Meritzen, as they come from the uh, along the Red River. See, they make it red like the Red River. Red River really is red from all the red mud in it. You see it, and you say, wow, it is red. <laughs> okay. And if you go to Minnesota, there's the Red River of the North, but it, it's, it's not part of the Mississippi River Basin. Okay. It's got the uh, colors of the modern German movement going back to 1848. The black, red, and gold. So it's not to the level of your German import, your Polan or your um, Hacker, Hacker, Schur, Spaten, Ermerzen, 
Iyengar. It's not to that level, but it's really hard for American companies to reach that level. But I think they gave it a good solid effort. And there's only, there's 99 check-ins on Untap. And this is the first video review for this product in the world. There's that sign, you see. 99 check-ins on Untap, scoring it a 77 out of 100, which is good. Very good for um, Untapped. And, um, okay. And uh, it's not listed on Rate Beer. And Beer Advocate has one re one rating, not a review, just a rating. So it's not enough to give it an average. So how will I score this? It's good. I'm going to say 86 out of 100. It's It's got some refinement that it needs to go through, but um, still, yeah, yeah, so it's, you know, it's too cloudy. Um, the flavors are kind of all over the place, and that, that, it's not tight, you know, like these German, the German pr produced ones are very tight in their flavors, the way they put together, but um, yeah, 86 out of 100, 8.6 out of 10. A good beer, and I'm gonna end this review by saying lazy lay bon time relay. Y'all go to Shreveport and tour the seventh tap brewing project brewery.